Hi everyone and welcome to episode number 5 of our Config MS 2022. My name is Johan and in this demo you will learn how to reinstall or redeploy Win32 apps in Intune. Demo time. When working with applications in Intune, it's often useful for testing and troubleshooting purposes to be able to quickly reinstall or redeploy an application. Because the way Win32 apps work is that if you do something wrong when you create the application, Intune is going to try three times to deploy it within a five minute interval in between each attempt. And if that still fails, it's going to wait another 24 hours until the next attempt. But what if you don't feel like waiting 24 hours? Well, simply put, you can just delete a few register keys, restart the IME service, and then you can try again or then the application will try again. So if I go to one of my applications here, I have a test application that I'm using, 10 meg single file, and that's obviously a single file that is 10 megabyte in size. If I go to properties on this one, and um, go down to the uh, detection methods, you can see that this particular application for it to be considered to be installed, it has to be this file here, have to be present in that folder. Very simple test application. So if I go back to the overview for the application, what we're interested in here is the ID for the application. So I'm going to borrow that from the URL here or the address bar. Open a notepad document and just paste it there for now. So this is the application ID. Then if you deploy applications to devices, there is a fixed known grid for that, which is just a bunch of zeros. But if you deploy to users or have users logged into machines, they will also have a user ID. So in this case, I'm going to log into one of Amy's machines and Amy have a user ID of the following. You can also retrieve this for PowerShell. I will post a link just below this video here with an example on how you can retrieve that for PowerShell as well. So anyhow, I have my application ID and I have my user ID. And that's really all I need to delete those register keys, sort of. I also need to figure out a corresponding schedule key because it's called a GRS key. It's an evaluation schedule that Intune creates by default when you install an application or try to install an application. But luckily, Andrew, one of our community members, posted a pretty nice little code snippet that allows you to figure that one out. So I will go over to one of my machines. I'm going to bring the application ID with me. And I'm just going to make sure I have the right one. So I'm going over to one of my Intune clients. And I'm going to paste in that application ID in this script here. Should be the same, but just to make sure. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to borrow the user ID. And paste that in here should also be the same. So if I run these first things, setting the variables, here is the function I mentioned from Andrew. He figured out on how to retrieve that particular key from the management extension logs. So if I run this function here and simply ask the system, what is the key that belongs to this particular application? it will give me that key in the registry. Before running parts of the script, I'm going to open the registry and show you. So, not in that one, but in this key here. This is where you'll find the device, the user, object user, this was the Amy, user object, and then beneath that, all applications that has been deployed, and also that schedule key that is in here. 
So now if I go back to my script, I can run these three to get rid of those registry keys. I can run this one to get rid of the detection file because you might remember I have that text file as a detection method. If I run this little snippet, it will tell me that sure enough that file exists. If I run this snippet, it will delete it. And if I try this one again, sure enough, the detection method is removed as well. And now I can simply restart the IME service and that will trigger a reinstall on this, of this application. If you want to follow the process, you can go into program data. You go to Microsoft, into an extensions or management extension, log files, and you open up the IME log. And this one will now give you a little bit information what's going on when it's trying to figure out if applications need to be installed or not. The uh, interesting thing about this particular log file is that you can actually increase the verbosity of it, which I have done in my environment. So you will typically see a little bit more information when you do so. But other than that, you can see that the machine almost immediately started to now install that 10 megabit uh, application. And shortly enough, it will complete that install and create that um, text file again that I deleted in the temp folder. Application was installed successfully. I go back to my PowerShell script here. I'm gonna look for that file again. And sure enough, it is back. And that's how you force a reinstall or redeployment of an application in Intune. I hope to see you again tomorrow for another demo. But this is all for now. Have a good day. Bye bye.